good evening i hope everyone is doing great so today we are going to learn one small quick topic uh, validation since auto complete okay so few of the juniors were asking sir how we can achieve this one because if you see auto complete is free form text right so either we can like if you see this is the auto complete which i have already implemented and if you want to see that how to implement auto complete maybe i'll explain a little bit here also but if you want to watch then i have already uploaded that um, the whole video for auto complete and i'll attach the link when i upload this video so the thing is that like uh, here you can see that right i have a list of country name okay and from the country name of the country list we can select anyone but what happens when the list is big right so this list is very small so you can you can uh, click on down arrow and see the all the list but when list is big sometimes what will happen if you are filling the form quickly you just type it and then think that okay this is a valid value so let's take an example for india right so here i is in the first letter is in the caps and the late next letter um, is in running letter but what will happen when you are uh, writing you'll simply write like this india okay and if you'll not select and just click next then what will happen that system like system should validate and un understand that this is also valid value okay but sometimes what happens that if you're typing let's say something like this okay then system should throw an error okay that this is not a valid value okay because user can type like this also so how we can do that okay out of the box i think still it is not there okay so how we can achieve that okay so let's let's see that so let's first see how i have done it okay so this drop down i'm populating from the country list uh, data table i have created simple data table where i have entered the list of country name and the country code so just two things okay so here uh, my requirement is that i want to when when i want to like uh, i have to select a country name and then in the back end i want to set the country code and country name both okay on my work page okay so this is my requirement and in between i want to validate that also that if someone is entering a wrong country name then i need to throw the masses so this is what i need to validate so let's go to the configuration so here i have configured that country name okay so you can see that like a country name where i'm setting this okay so let's see this is the configuration okay so for auto complete so my source is a data page okay it's list type of data page country list list type of data page and then what i'm doing i have a two attribute only country name and country code so country name i'm setting to show so this is basically when like if you see here when when we are hitting to drop down we are seeing country name uh, country name and then country code both i'm displaying okay and then what i'm doing both the value i'm setting also so country name by default it will set automatically by pega using this one and then country code i'm setting here okay so if i show you if i'll select let's say country india and check my clipboard page so we should see both the value on the applicant page so if you see here on the applicant page we should see uh, country code country name i think some issue with the country code it's not refreshing i need to see okay idly idly it should refresh uh, i i can check that okay so we will see that but let's let's go for the validations that let's say if someone is selecting like this okay how we can throw the validation so you can see that my validations is working the moment if i'll select okay i'll just type something in india though if you see it's matching i'm not selecting so you can see that i'm not selecting from there but still i'm not seeing that validation message okay so that means it's working okay i need to see this country code like why it's not setting here the correct one uh, ideally it should set the correct one because here that i n and then maybe i need to refresh the data page once again let me refresh the data page this data page once again because it should set that plus this instance so if i see here so against in against canada it's coming canada and whatever for in yeah it's coming in okay i need to see okay but that is not our focus we can check that so now what i'm doing to validate that what i have done okay on action okay so on action on change actions i'm calling a data transform so you can see that the data transform is validate country okay and in that one i'm passing country code and country name both but um, like both is not required i was passing initially but then i can remove also country code country code is not required just i'm passing the country name okay so it depends like how you are validating okay like what value you are setting what is your primary value so here i want to keep that india in display but if i'll make that primary that set only code so you can validate on that one as well but then what will happen instead of 
country a country here it will show the code okay but like uh, i'm doing like uh, with the country name itself okay so because every users will when they will they want to fill this form they want to see the country name in the back end they want to set country code so that is fine that is how i'm doing here i'm trying to set the country code here but on the ui i i want to display the country name only okay so if i now i have removed that one if i'll come here and just refresh then that will go away so that is fine so just country name fine okay now come to this dt okay so i'm taking this parameter you can use uh, this class and this class okay attribute is same okay uh, this sections class is same but still i'm passing through parameter because i'm like it can give more flexibility if you want you can use directly attribute but like i have done it in this way because let's say you have a different class or something or you have a rote in data transform in other places you can do it like this so in the in this parameter we will get the country name country name is basically whatever i'll write here okay be it's a valid or invalid okay whatever if i'll trace here whatever i'll type and just click outside right let me do it again whatever i'll type and then click it will come here to to this dt okay so if i see in the parameter page we will see that value okay country name so you can see that here here country name is blank because i'm 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 making that blank in that let me do it again okay so it's tracing so i'll just what i'll do i'll type again let's say i'll just say abc let's come to this dt okay so in the starting of this one so this is my starting of data pay data transform so if i'll see here the country name should be abc see this is the value country name is abc so whatever we are typing in this text field that that is going to this dt as that country name now what in the very first step i'm just clearing the masses if you have existing masses okay and in the next step i'm calling a data page okay so d d d underscore get country by name so basically what i'm saying i'm trying to fire a query that give me that the all the list of country okay from the database which has the same name okay so it so this is the data page let's take a look of this data page so what this data page is simply is taking the parameter country name okay and then doing a list okay going to report definition in report definitions also i'm passing that country name at the parameter and here what i'm doing i'm trying to fetch all the list of country name okay what has been entered on the ui okay so from ui value is coming to data page from the ui value is coming to the data transform then from data transform value is coming to data page and from data page it's coming to rd and then here i'm trying to a browse that okay one thing i have selected okay which you need to be careful if you can avoid you can avoid that because here i'm doing with the country name right so country name can be case insensitive okay so that is where but if you have let's say some code okay then you can maybe you can do like uh, once the user is in inputting right you can convert always to caps and then convert to database I'll, I'll, let me tell you what i'm saying let's see if you are using uh, this country code okay for your validation so in this case country code you have always enter in caps right so when user is inputting either he's inputting in caps or he's inputting in running later lower so you can always convert when when you're coming to dt on the very first step you can convert to caps and then send that to uh, rd basically send that to database and to rd in that case you don't have to use this ignore case but i'm using here country name so i've selected this one so if i'll run this data page what it will give me let's see if i'll run with india so it will give me one result px result count equals to 1 see here i got it but what if i'll run with abc so then i'll get it zero so result count is zero see here zero so this is what i'm using result count okay so this is what i'm using here so in this one okay here i'm trying to find out that like calling this uh, data page d underscore get country by name and then obviously you need to review that this data page should be a node level or thread level okay most likely it should be thread level or you can create node level also it, it depends like you need to evaluate that based on your requirements so here i'm passing that and 
like taking that result count and then comparing that if the result count is zero that means i didn't get any result count means let's see if i'm searching in the database with abc okay then there is no result okay that means this is not a valid value okay this is not a valid value and then we need to throw the message so then i'm simply saying add that masses okay uh, using function okay so simply i'm adding a message to page okay param that country name is not a valid country please please select from available value so this is a very simple validations we need to do and in the end i'm clearing this country name from the parameter so that the, when we are doing the second time okay um like uh, like the message will get clear okay so that is how i'm doing it so let's let's see again so see if i'm using india then it's working okay fine but if i'm entering something else then it's not working see this is a very simple okay let me tra let me trace and show you i'll just trace the data transform then you'll understand better okay and show you that what is happening so let me first enter uh, a good value okay so i'll just select india so no no error masses see first step what we did we cleared that and then if i see then we got the country name right here country name is india see country name then we compared in the next step we went to data page okay and call that here the underscore country list so what is the result count let's see that in parameter how many result count we got so result count we got one obviously because we have one entry with uh, india country name equals to india and then this when conditions we have a when conditions right uh, we have a when conditions here to validate so this became false and then we didn't set masks and then in the end we are clearing the country name and this clearing is not required because anyway we are passing each time from that uh, 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 rule okay so that is fine we cleared that country name. done let's let's take about the error message scenario okay so now i'll type something or i'll just type abc so this is not a valid value in my database okay so then i'll go i'll come here and then you can see that right so we got a true result count equals to equals to zero because yes because the data page okay what we got okay the result count is that zero see px result count is zero because obviously if i'll run d underscore get uh, country by name okay then we'll get a zero result and then if it is zero result then we are simply going and setting the message so this is a very easy easy things okay through which we can validate the va valid value of uh, an auto complete here the message is incorrect so we can just have one more space so that will get correct message and you should you should create basically and the field value for this one you can give a field value also here and it will take not a problem like this is just a temporary message right so if i now again try then we should see that it is not a valid country so this is it for to today's class okay it was very quick and I, I created this video because many people were asking so i hope this quick video on auto complete will help you and you'll be able to do it and let me know if you have any questions on on this one then uh, in the comment sections okay thank you thank you very much have a good day bye